Yeah, Starship Flight 3 is about to occur. But wait, not this month as planned, next month instead. I'm not kidding. Elon Musk has already confirmed it in his recent tweet. Starship were meant to fly and our next one launches in about three weeks, but I recommend waiting for a few more test flights before hopping on board. So what exactly happened? Find out everything in today's episode of TechMap. The tweet appeared when the billionaire entrepreneur was replying to a post from the rapper I, formerly known as Kenny West, who had asked Musk, where my rocket ship? Elon, where my rocket ship? It's time to go home. The two moguls have known each other for more than a decade and have interacted frequently on X over the years. According to this estimate, Starship Flight 3 will be no earlier than March 4, and even if there are some problems in the last minutes, the backup date will fall in mid-March. Honestly, this delay doesn't surprise anyone much because in early February, the FAA said that they had not received the investigation report from SpaceX. The next Starship can't fly until the commercial space firm completes the launch mishap investigation for the craft's second flight on November 18, 2023. SpaceX will also need to complete the necessary changes to the rocket before the FAA will license the craft for another launch. The return to flight of the SpaceX Starship Super Heavy Vehicle requires the OFT-2 launch mishap investigation to be closed and the license modification for the OFT-3 launch to be approved, an FAA correspondent wrote in a statement. The SpaceX-led mishap investigation remains open, and SpaceX has not yet submitted all needed information for the license modification. Some people suspect that SpaceX's delay in submitting necessary documents to the FAA is partly due to the impact of the scandal between the company and environmental groups. Since the company launched its giant rocket, it has faced increased scrutiny from environmental groups concerned about harm to important habitats near rocket launches. In December 2023, several environmental groups announced a new complaint about the environmental impacts of SpaceX Starship launches from Starbase. In the complaint, the groups allege the FAA failed to properly review the environmental impacts of the first Starship launch before issuing a revised license for the second launch that took place on November 18. Failing to do an in-depth environmental review and letting SpaceX keep launching the world's largest rockets that repeatedly explode shows a shocking disregard for wildlife and communities. Jared Margolis, a senior attorney at the Center for Biological Diversity. SpaceX should not be given free reign to use this amazing area as a sacrifice zone. In addition, three of those, namely Saver Jeev, the Sierra Club, and the Carrizo slash Comacruto Nation of Texas sued Elon Musk's space firm for the company's beach closures. Since the commercial space company began building and testing its Starship rocket there in 2019, its ability to shut off access to the pristine stretch of public cost line, which is guaranteed by the state constitution, has won the support of local and state officials and some courts. The environmentalists were unhappy with that decision, leading to the 2021 lawsuit targeting Elon Musk's company. Finally, on February 1, the 13th District Court of Appeals in Edinburgh ruled in favor of them and SpaceX may not be able to keep having its way with Boca Chica Beach and the roads leading to it. However, on February 12, we still saw SpaceX's planned road closure being released. So what does it mean? How does SpaceX handle scandals with environmental groups? Don't hesitate to leave your comment below. Next, before going any further, if you found this information useful, remember to subscribe to the channel and enable notifications to stay up to date with the latest news from SpaceX and the world of space. And now let's go back to today's episode. While we don't have a chance of seeing a third Starship launch event on Valentine's Day, I'm at least pretty sure that a March schedule is possible. Because there is not much left. Ship 28 and Booster 10 have already been stacked with each other at the launch site, and they could have completed the wet dress rehearsal on February 14. But the test was scrubbed for unknown reasons, and another opportunity will be on the 15th day or even the 20th. Meanwhile, the company carried out the deluge system test and activated fire suppression in Stage 0. The corrective actions after Flight 2 might be almost completed because, during its November event, Starship and its Super Heavy booster cleared the launch with minimal damage and achieved stage separation. Therefore, why don't we hold out hope in the feasibility of Elon's recent statement? 
It can be said with certainty that Starship's upcoming flight has a very special meaning, given that it could be the first time the rocket reaches orbit. Once the pair of Ship 28 and Booster 10 make history in the next test, it will pave the way for SpaceX's plans to proceed on time. First of all, it's about Artemis 3, which is now targeted on September 2026. That means SpaceX has just two years to make their rocket not only reliable, but also capable of safely ferrying astronauts. The lunar ship will be equipped with four landing legs. Moon in less than five years, Musk said on February 10, while not providing a fresh timeline for his dreams to land humans on Earth's neighboring planet Mars. In December 2023, Musk expressed hopes of getting to Mars in 10 years. The United States military, meanwhile, has plans of their own for the massive rocket that could include launches from Florida's space coast. In detail, the military could use the rocket to send supplies, and perhaps even troops in the future, to anywhere in the world in less than an hour. Defense Department officials began looking at the idea two decades ago, but only recently has it come closer to reality. Envision a number of containers sitting in a warehouse down in Cape Canaveral. We go to an alert level. We pull them up, you start putting them on the rocket, said Gregory Spangers, chief scientist for the United States Air Force Research Lab. At each successive alert level, your time to launch shrinks and shrinks and shrinks, and we can get it down to one hour. Spanger said teams have already been making mock-ups of Starship's cargo bay, figuring out how to take advantage of a quick supply run. Speed is the obvious draw, but the cost is dropping and getting closer to existing expenses for moving supplies. The big driver of this comes from Starship's attractive potential, including flying quickly from one spot on Earth to another, which is what has the Department of Defense interested. Rocket cargo point-to-point -point is not the reason we're building Starship, said SpaceX senior advisor Gary Henry. We're building Starship to get to Mars. But what we're finding is, it's a system we're putting together that has profound impacts for national security, and one of them just happens to be rocket point-to-point. -point. Henry said SpaceX's current fleet of Falcon 9 rockets with boosters originally designed to fly 10 times but with future boosters that might go up as many as 40 times, have brought the price of flying payloads from about $4,500 per pound to about $900 per pound. The Falcon 9s has a capacity of 44,000 pounds to 132,000 pounds. But Starship is a very different animal, he said. Starship is fundamentally meant to be rapidly reusable. We designed the vehicle from the outset to fly 100 times, not 10 times, and it's going to deliver 220,000 to 250,000 pounds, 100 to 115 metric tons, to low Earth orbit. He said Starship would bring the cost trajectory down to a starting point of $90 per pound. Musk has said he could see that dropping even more to $9 a pound down the road. And that price could go down more deeply if, According to Space Force Intelligence Analyst Chief Master Sergeant Ronald Lurch, China's Long March 5 rocket flies at around $1,360 per pound, but the Long March 9 rocket is aiming to be completely reusable with a price cut in half down to $680 per pound. China is moving very, very close. It is full speed ahead in terms of reusability, he said, and that it too is relying on commercial launches and not just government rockets. And that just about wraps it up for today's episode. Thank you, and we look forward to seeing you next time.